Alright, so this is a duel which I had with a... a tag duel which I played with a couple of friends... no, not really friends, but... Uh, some random guys on uh, DevPro, and it was a really fun duel. Uh, I never really thought it would end out the way it would. Uh, I'm going with a Balint Boxer set together with Utopian Sexual Weapons, which uh, this duel showcases right here how just broken they are. Uh, I didn't really think that it was that broken until this duel came along, and holy crap. Sure, we get our asses handed to us right at the beginning, but it gets better. Uh, the other guy goes with a somewhat uh, weird set. I don't really know what he's going with. Uh, I guess it's some kind of judgment. Uh, I guess it's some kind of like spellbook kind of deal. Because he has like uh, high priest of prophecy here. Uh, as well as some like uh, star drawings. But I don't really know what else he... Sh uh, I don't really know what else he plays. However, it, it went quite well. And the guys didn't rea uh, realize what I was about to do. That was like really hilarious. Uh, because they were like, what? Why would you attack a <laughs> monster stronger than yours? But there you go. And Counter Punch is a really good card. Uh, the Bounty Boxers by themselves uh, really are. I don't think they're a little bit underestimated, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of shut up and just let you watch this. So yeah.
So that was it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And the deck list, in case you want it, is down below. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys got a little eye opener here just to see just how powerful these things are. And that Magnum Shield card really needs to be limited. Uh, anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, I hope you guys had a, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time with some Legend of Zelda and the Minish Cap. So, bye.